Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It seems like this one is gonna be a good one just from this first frame right here. Yes, the man, the myth, the legend, Tom McDonald has made a, another music video just dropped a few hours ago, I think. So as usual, I'm going to play it and blind react to it. Maybe go back a little bit through any lyrics I might have missed and say my commentary on it. He definitely delivered with his last music video, You Missed, and I did do a reaction on that as well. So check that out and I have lots of other video breakdowns and stuff on my channel, but who has time for a long intro? So let's just get right into it and uh, see what this new song is about. Just gotta put my headphones on. Okay, 313, it's a pretty short one. All right, we'll see. Let's do it. I think the world's gone brain dead. Since when did everybody identify as they them? Cut up other penises and trade them for some fake breasts. I ain't homophobic, I got gay friends. I just think it's weird that the world's so offended. They tell us fat is beautiful, what they take in those epic. They wanted to get rich mm. and they started an epidemic and they really want to win, so they're rigging the elections. Everybody's offended by everything every second and any time that I mention the men can never get pregnant. I get aggressively threatened by kids with 17 genders who think a word is a weapon and want to teach me a lesson. And it's crazy, P. Diddy diddling rappers and hitting women on camera. Conviction ain't gonna happen, hit the evidence. Instead of putting him in the slammer because he's too rich to be canceled, we try to fill a prison cell with the president. Born in Canada. Wow. Wow. You're probably a racist if you're not gay. All of my blacks, all of my whites, if you want to let Tell him say me mad. Me to see one rapper. He a chi chi man. I think the world's gone mad. Do black lives still matter or is trans the new black? Every time I rap, I got them crap in their pants. They having cardiac arrest like they all had the jab. It's weird. Take a look at your history. You're yelling free Palestine. Look what happened when you freed Britney. Your children ain't gay. They've been watching too much Disney. Eminem fans praying shady will this me. Everybody's so triggered that I just keep getting bigger. They want a Morgan Wall in me like Tom McDonald said. Bruh. I just want to know about which rich celebrities kiss kids The Epstein list is hit from existence I don't want to be nobody other than me I want to choke the woke until they struggle to breathe Hollywood is a joke and I'm exposing the creeps Like Ellen Page and a man if she's squatting to pee Born in Canada, moved to the USA Where you're probably a racist <laughs> if you're not gay All of my blacks, all of my whites If you want the left, if you want the right white boy i identify as black my pronouns are the ones you didn't use so now i'm mad my hunters go hunting while your hunters smoking crack i can't say the r word so y'all are handicapped all of my okay. black, all of my white <laughs> on the left if you on the right oh my god Tell him save me mad. What is this? <laughs> me to see one rapper. See one rapper. He a chi chi man. He a chi chi man. Wow. Um, it's not often that a song leaves me speechless. Um, well, more so the music video got me speechless. And y'all know I like to talk and do video breakdowns, so... <laughs> That was something. It was giving his, uh, I'm corny era. He's just the best. <laughs> Completely unhinged. And we're here for it. What do I say about that? That was hilarious. From a production standpoint, let's start there. Really nice work. Got the double tom in this scene here and, uh, got some fun settings and... Yeah, lots of fun CGI work in this one. <laughs> Where do I begin? <laughs> Where do I even begin? Where'd you get that from, Tom? From the bargain bin at Spencer's, no doubt. I'm amazed. <laughs> the woke's public enemy number one has done it again. An absolute cacophony of chaos is how I would describe that. 
in the best way though. So <laughs> let me go through it again and actually talk about the lyrics. That was a lot to take in all at once. <laughs> and I mean, that's exactly what he was going for here, right? I think the world's gone brain dead. Since when did everybody identify as they them? Cut up other penises and trade them for some fake breasts. I ain't homophobic, I got gay friends. I just think it's weird that the world's so offended. They tell us that it's, it's kind of a bop. <laughs> they wanted to get rich and they started a pandemic and they really want to win, so they're rigging the elections. Everybody's offended by everything every second and any time that I mention the man can never get pregnant I get aggressively threatened by kids with 17 genders who think a word is a weapon and want to teach me a lesson And it's crazy he did he diddling rappers and hitting women on camera conviction ain't gonna happen hit the evidence instead of putting him in the slammer cause he's too rich to be cancelled we try to fill a prison cell with the president I do appreciate that he brought up the Ozempic epidemic that is a, a hot topic right now because it's just a perfect example of how all of these companies and the government are poisoning our food and making us fat and miserable and instead of fixing the source the food itself with all these GMOs and pesticides, etc., colorings, flavors, what have you. They're letting the people be fat and miserable and then offering the solution of a shot in your side. We have no idea what the long-term effects of that are going to be. So naturally, Big Pharma wants a money grab, so they come out with Ozempic and people are falling for it. And uh, I just hope that there's no long-term side effects with that. Only time will tell. And of course, you guys know that I speak publicly against gender ideology for children specifically all the time. Speaking up against the radical agenda that is targeting children, specifically trying to destroy their natural hormone chemical makeup with these terrible life-altering drugs that are given to criminals of the worst kind, aka diddlers, to castrate them. But it's okay to give them to children to block puberty. It's a mess. And of course, that whole pipeline goes into surgery, which he's talking about here. So even though he's targeting like the wokes, the wokies, he's almost like speaking to the community of people that might be gay or kind of on the fence about what's going on. And he's just kind of making fun of it at this point because it is laughable how ridiculous the woke ideology has gotten. I mean, it would be funny if it wasn't so sad and if it wasn't, you know, actively destroying our youth. <laughs> yeah, this election season is going to be insane. Yeah, it's kind of like the pipeline of Big Pharma, right? We just saw the pandemic. Everyone fell for that. And then we have this trans kid thing and everyone fell for that. And now we have Ozempic. A shot just cures everything, right? It's crazy. Morning. And people want to give him a bunch of crap because he's Canadian who moved to America, but he speaks out for the veterans so much and veterans are treated like crap here in America. So people like Tom who help the veterans, I appreciate and I am more than happy to have people who want to immigrate to this country if they want to support the economy and help veterans and actually get here the right way. But that's not what we're seeing these days at the border. Do you think any of the people who are immigrating to America right now care about veterans? <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> but you know, gotta have a bunch of people in the country just in time for elections, right? <sighs> yeah, and I also like how he brought up P. Diddy being too rich to get in trouble. That is definitely a thing. If you are rich and powerful enough, you can get away with the most heinous crimes. This screenshot, I, I can't and it will get swept under the rug, or you won't really get in any trouble. It goes all the way up to the top. The corruption trying to hurt children and destroy the world goes all the way up to the top. And I hate to admit it, but that's just the reality. And people still are trying to argue that this idea that men can get pregnant because trans men can get pregnant. First of all, whatever backwards double think argument these people try to have that we're the uneducated ones because, you know, trans men have the parts um, to be able to get pregnant, which is really just reducing females 
down to their organs and parts, which I thought was the whole reason why feminism was a thing in the first place. <laughs> misandry. I am obviously against all of it already, but to be so incredibly selfish that you would take all these hormones and mess with your body to be a trans man and then get pregnant anyway, just to say what? Screw the conservatives. Like, I'm going to potentially destroy this child in the womb from all of these messed up surgeries and drugs that I've taken just to prove that I can. Like, it's psychopathic behavior to a point I just cannot relate to. And there are still people to this day that I see, like in Twitch chats, who are talking like this. It's insane. I think the world's gone mad. Do black lives still matter or is trans the new black? I also like that he brought up his trans the new black because yeah, I mean, they're just taking all of the rhetoric from the Black Lives Matter movement, inserting trans. There's something very wrong with that. Very wrong. Children ain't gay, they've been watching too much Disney. Eminem fans praying shady will diss me. Everybody's so triggered that I just keep getting bigger. They want a Morgan Wall in me like Tom McDonald said. I just wanna know about which rich celebrities kiss kids The Epstein list is hit from existence I don't wanna be nobody other than me I wanna choke the woke until they struggle to breathe Hollywood is a joke and I'm exposing the creeps Like Ellen Page and a man if she's squatting the pee Has anyone asked where Ghislaine Maxwell is these days? Hmm. I did notice that he brought up the client list So thank you Tom for that Let's not forget about that, shall we? Let's not forget about that list because they're hoping that you do. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta bring back this, this moment real quick because this reminds me of uh, one of my other favorite music video of his, Clown World. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do a shout out to that moment. I'm glad he brought that back. Don't call me a white boy, I identify as black. My pronouns are the ones you didn't use, so now I'm mad. My hunters go hunting while your hunter's smoking crack. <laughs> I can't say the R word, so y'all are handicapped. Speaking of like not being called your pronouns or whatever, something just happened to my brother while he was playing a video game, and I think I need to give him a call and have him tell you what happened. Hello? Hey. Would you be willing to be a little guest on my YouTube video I'm recording right now? I'm doing a Tom McDonald breakdown and in his new video he talks about you didn't call me the right pronouns so now I'm mad and I wanted you to tell my audience what just happened to you in that game the other day. Would you be willing to do that? <laughs> yeah. What Tom is talking about literally just happened to him like what, a couple days ago? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the game is called Town of Salem. It's a social deduction game, kind of like Werewolf Mafia, kind of like that, plays online. People generally, since we don't know if someone's a guy or girl, you know, everyone is sort of referred to as they, you know, they did this, they did that. You know, that makes sense because you literally don't know if the person that you're talking to is a guy or girl. I don't even remember the context. I don't even remember exactly how the conversation even came up, but I, I end up saying that I, like, I referred to myself as he, and the, some idiot was like, why are you opposed to being called a gender neutral pronoun? And I said, what? I, I, I'm a guy. Like, I just said that I'm he. Why are you saying that I'm opposed to being called a gender neutral pronoun? I just said, like, I, I'm a guy. You don't have to call me they. I'm a guy. And he said, well, then you're transphobic. <laughs> and I said, what? How? How am I transphobic? The guy was like, I'm not going to have this conversation or the individual. They then and, was uh, not having that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Later, this person is in the game and they say, I'm not playing with transphobic person. I'm not transphobic. I've said nothing about trans people whatsoever. Like you brought up the trans thing. I said, if me saying that I'm a he is transphobic, then every trans person who says they want a pronoun of their choice is equally transphobic. I'm just saying, call me a he. I, I'm he, I'm he, I'm not they, I am he. And me saying that I am he is not transphobic. If you were a trans man, it would be transphobic of that person to call you transphobic. <laughs> or to call me they. Right. At that point. Isn't that diametrically opposite of what trans people and that whole community is trying to say is real? It's just, then this person 
brings the problem into the Town of Salem Discord server and goes on this tirade about, oh, I don't like the fact that our game is allows transphobic bigotry and all this stuff. And th this whole discussion breaks out. And I said, look, I never even mentioned trans anything. I literally just said that I am a he. And then this person says, well, you're not going to have me playing this anymore because I'm only going to be in spaces where I feel comfy. And comfy? Said, like... Yeah, and so I looked at this person's profile and it was like, weird he they and was like i'm 5'4 and i'm like 135 pounds i guess you can just call me tiny but i really like being tiny if you know what i mean i don't know Th these people are these people are just like out of their minds i don't know this is the modern generation like it all eats itself when put to the test because pronouns, yeah that's what they want Nazis, right yeah they like want the pronouns <laughs> You'd think that me saying that I'm a he would solve the problem. I've established my preferred pronouns at that point. Yeah, because I'm opposed to being a gender neutral pronoun. I'm a transphobic. That makes no sense. It makes perfect sense from the perspective of a crazy person. Wild. So there you have it. Well, I think you're going to like this uh, new video that I post, so we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, no problem. I love you. Love you. I'll watch it. Bye. These people are real. These are real human beings. It's nuts. This is also randomly reminding me of Spy Kids era floops fooglies. You all know what I'm talking about with that? Specifically the thumbs. Did y'all watch that movie? See? Oh man. My hunters go hunting while your hunters smoking crack. I can't say the R word, so y'all are handicapped. All of my blacks, all of my that is so great. I mean, if you got a weenie and all the genie, they them he she. All of my straights, all of my gays, all of my bars who swing both ways. If you got a weenie, doctors and pee pee, say them he she. One the doctor, one the doctor. Tell him save me, Mark. Me to see one rapper. He a chi chi man. He a chi chi man. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Well done, everybody involved. I like that he's embracing this like goofy side of him, especially after such a serious pop off like you missed. But yeah, that was great. A fun and energetic change of pace for sure. I can't wait to see what he comes up with next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Ellie in Video Land on all platforms, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, Subscribestar, Rumble, everywhere. So keep a lookout for new content from me and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks again.